How's it going, Vinyl Community? YouTube followers, Instagram followers, it's your boy Chris, Instagram, at Tunes from the Man Cave. As always, coming to you from the Man Cave. Um, I've received, received several um, comments, suggestions, I wouldn't call them complaints, um, about my videos. One was the location that I was shooting during the day in the past, right there at my turntable. I got a couple of windows I like to keep open. Uh, the glare, people complained about they couldn't see the records, so I've decided to relocate for the purposes of filming during the day, so I think this one's going to come out a lot more visible for you, so I can't remember who made that comment or that suggestion, but thank you. I'll probably take it back to that location for when I can shoot at night. Um, a lot of them, people have complained about how loud I play my records when I do this, and I apologize for that as well. Um, I got one on the table now turned down <clears throat> barely audible I hope you can barely even hear it uh, but it's just nice for me to be able to hear music while I do these um, and then one other comment um, a couple of other like funny like DM comments I've gotten on my Instagram is man these videos are long and I went back and I looked and I, I, I did some research or whatever and looked at my videos and there's a stark contrast. The longer my videos are, the fewer views they've gotten. So I'm going to try and work on shortening these up for you guys. I've told you before, I've warned you guys, I love to talk. Especially about something I'm passionate about. So I'm going to work on shortening these up. Alright, this video here is about recent vinyl finds, vinyl acquisitions. And uh, I'm going to keep it speeding right along for you guys. Uh, on the turntable right now, Pink Floyd. Dragged down by the stone, bootleg. Holy crap, it's awesome. Holy crap, take a look at this wax as soon as I can get it. Look at that wax, guys. Isn't that beautiful? The one that's on the table now has got the blue splatter. These are phenomenal, guys. Um, I was lucky enough to acquire one from a friend a couple of years ago. I'm not going to drop the friend's name in the video because it's frowned upon to distribute bootlegs. So I'm not going to do that to said friend. But anyway, it's killer. If you guys can never come across it, grab yourself one. Um, so last month, I'm a Vinyl Me, uh, Vinyl Me Please subscriber. Um, I recently joined the hip hop um, subscription section. And I got Erica Badu's, but you can't use my phone. I love Erica Badu, guys. And this is more of like a remix kind of album. Um, it's killer. I love it. Um, but I don't be pleased, guys, is where it's at. I was always, I was very skeptical about getting on the train for that at first, but then they dropped. Hmm, what made me want to jump on the train was as they dropped Notorious B.I.G. ready to die on that killer splatter vinyl that I love so much. I'm like, okay, I'm on board. And it's killer, and I've been on ever since, and I've since joined the hip-hop subscription and the classics subscription. And I'll get to one of the classics here in a minute. The killer, Erica Badu, but you can't use my phone. Um, also, Vinyl Me Please, their record of the month, Beach House, Devotion, 45 RPM, Killer reissue, guys, really, honestly. I had actually never owned this album before. I heard it, of course, I know who Beach House is, but um, I had never actually physically owned the album. Look at that beautiful wax. White with like a, like clear with like a brown splatter, but I don't know what the exact definition or color that they used for it was, but that's beautiful, it's killer. I love it. If you're not a Vinyl Me Please subscriber, guys, maybe look into it. I mean, they come out with some killer stuff. Next in line, recent acquisition, reacquisition, really. Miles Davis, Bitches Brew, MoFi, original master recording. Funny story about this one is, is I had this a few months back, and I had posted it on my Instagram feed, and a guy had commented, um, I can't remember his name now, had commented, man, that's killer, man. I'd love to have that. Seriously, it'd be awesome to have that. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's awesome. And um, a few days later, like a week later, he posted a, uh, a record on his page or whatever that, uh, a jazz record. I can't remember which one it was. Again, this has been a few months back. 
Um, I know I'm, it might have been something else by Cannonball Adderley. Um, I can't remember. But it was like an original copy, and um, he was looking to upgrade for condition purposes and said he was interested in selling his, DM if interested. So me, knowing that I could still get another copy of Bitches Brew, MoFi, on Amazon or right through MoFi directly, had DM'd, DM'd him back and said, hey, if you're interested, I got something you want, you got something I want, how about a swap? Well, not expecting him to jump on it, thinking he would just say, no thanks, guys. No, no thanks, my man. I could get Bitches Brew on Amazon. And I thought that that would be the end of it, but he totally took me up on it. So I shipped mine off. He shipped his off. We were both happy. And then just a few days ago, I reacquired Bitches Brew like I always intended to do. So I came out smiling on that. Killer, guys. One of the best mofis I've ever heard. The only reason I traded it in the first place was because I knew I could reacquire it, and I have. Miles Davis, John Coltrane. The final tour, Paris, March 21st, 1960. Vinyl Me Please Classics, record of the month for March. This one's killer, guys. Very sturdy sleeve, done up, pure class, just like they always do it. Um, I actually got a DM message from at DJ Pari on uh, Instagram a little while ago because he did not know that the Paris set was issued. He's like, I thought just the Copenhagen set was. DJ Pari, if you're watching this, uh, this is a Vital Me Please Classics exclusive. So that's why I have it. Looking to acquire in yourself one. I'll try to see if I can help you find one. Um, but yeah, that's why I joined Classics, was just for this, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it any other way. So, totally worth it. Up next in line from a recent, and by recent meeting yesterday, record store trip, Miles Davis and John Coltrane, Copenhagen, March 24th, 1960. The one that at DJ Party thought was the only one out there from the final tour. Um, I got to tell you, if I'm comparing the two, um, Vinyl Me's Please really brought the ruckus with the, with the, with the sleeve, with the gatefold. Uh, it's sturdy. I like the way it feels. This one's not as sturdy. Uh, the sound quality is a little bit better on the Paris set as well because, I don't know, I guess Vinyl Me Please just treated, the, treated it with a little more, I don't know, put a little more gusto behind the pressing, I couldn't tell you, but it's definitely the better of the two, but both are awesome, especially when you can get this one under $16 on Amazon right now. I paid $18 for it at the record store because I like to support my local, local record stores. If it's only within a couple of dollars, I like to buy from the local record store. But for those of you who don't have time, you can get it under $16 on Amazon right now. So, killer set, especially for that price. Next up in line. Guys, I've been waiting to find an original pressing of, me, of Charlie Mingus, the Black Saint and the Center Lady, for years. For years, and every time I've ever seen one on eBay or Discogs, it's always been hundreds of dollars, and I just haven't been willing to pay that as of yet. And but I wanted this album in my collection so bad, so I was looking through the jazz section at my favorite record store, Lunchbox Records, beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. If any of you guys are ever there, please stop in. And to some of my friends watching this who are who are locals, you know what I'm talking about. Lunchbox Records is killer. Again, Charlotte, North Carolina. Stop in, guys. Uh, tell them Chris sent you. Um, it's awesome. Uh, this one right here, I did my homework on it when I picked it up because it's like the gatefold, the sleeve automatically felt sturdy, which for me is a good indication that the company, that the label that's pressing it is taking it seriously. So I pull my phone out, do a little research, come to find out this is from the original analog tapes. And it's only $22. So I'm like, man, that will totally hold me over until I can get an original at a decent price that sounds good. And then even if I get that original, this might still be my play copy. I haven't thrown it on the table yet. I'll let you know in a later post what it sounds like when I do, but I'm very happy to have this for $22. Um, again, original analog tapes, so it should sound killer. I'm very excited. I've wanted a copy of this one for years. Next up, training in. John Coltrane with the Red Garland Trio. Another one that I've been holding out on. An original. 
Probably could have got one for not too terribly uh, by, uh, bad. Excuse me. Uh, and I've been holding out on it. But yesterday, as I'm going through the jazz section, Lunchbox will do this thing, and I know you know most record stores will, where they go through their stock sometimes and they start putting some sale prices on some albums to kind of clear out some inventory, get some new stuff coming in the door. This one was discounted all the way down to $14.99 for a train album with Red Garland. I, I couldn't pass. I couldn't pass up. I grabbed it. Can't wait to throw it on the table, see what it sounds like. Um, again, I just I jumped on it, and I'm still going to jump on the original when I find it best believe and then you know if I find the original copy to be superior for sound I will absolutely end up probably giving this to a friend so if you're a close friend of mine hey maybe keep what I just said in mind all right I'm going to conclude this video with the following two my boy at Noble Records Dylan hope you're watching this video I think you watch all my videos I hope you're watching this one um, about a month or so ago I traded Dylan um, a couple of albums that I had bought from him a year or two ago that I really did not want to trade. But he had a box full of jazz, Blue Note and Prestige, original 10 inches, plus some holy crap original Blue Note 12 inch LPs that I just had to have. Had to have them. And he had thrown in the, the mentioning of these two LPs. It's like, dude, if you'll trade these back to me, I will totally trade up for them. Just throwing it out there. I know you love them, but just throwing it out there. And I'm like, man, I'm going to have to bring the ruckus for this trade. That's the thing, guys, is with trades, you have to trade fire if you want to get fire. So I did. I traded them Fear, for, uh, Fear Itself, excuse me, self-titled, which is think Janis Joplin meets Hendrix, very psychedelic, kind of soulful rock record all in one. And it's, man, it's killer, guys. If you And Bull Angus, Free For All, which I believe is their second album. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dylan, especially correct me if I'm wrong. But I told him when I traded them to him, I said, I'm absolutely going to reacquire these. As soon as I can find them for a decent price. I didn't know that it would be as soon as it was. Feast your eyes on these. Bull Angus, Free For All, Fear Itself, self-titled, both vinyls, NM, near mint on both. Especially this Bull Angus, I might even rate is mint. I mean, it's in the sleeve. It's got the hype sticker on it in the far right-hand corner. These are killer. I can't believe I got them as, as fast as I did. Dylan, I paid $25 for Bull Angus. I paid $22 for Fear Itself. The only thing wrong with the Fear Itself record is it's got a small split in the sleeve right up here. And there's not a damn thing in this world wrong with this Bull Angus. Maybe the seller just didn't know what they had. I don't know. But man, I'm psyched because I got all of that wonderful jazz from Dylan in the trade. Plus, I reacquired the two, oh my God, I did not want to trade albums at a completely reasonable price. So I'm a very happy man today. Um, all right, guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to manage to wrap up a video in under 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to keep working on that. I'm going to keep working on getting you guys out of here quick. Um, some of you might not mind listening to me for 40 minutes, but the average person just really doesn't have 40 minutes to watch a YouTube video. So until next time I talk to you guys, I'm going to come up with something to talk about. You know, maybe it'll be a video about my MoFi collection, you know, maybe the Japanese presses, you know, always keep you updated with what I have coming in with trades I have in the works. Um, I hope you guys give me a comment on how do you feel about, you know, the volume of the music as well as the new location for the daytime videos. Let me know if it's any better, any worse. Um, I want to make these videos for you guys that you'll watch to entertain you for however long it is the videos take place for. Um, I want to keep you watching. I want to keep talking to you guys. So let me know how I can improve these videos, please. Always. Until next time, shop at your local record store. Um, have fun with the hobby. Uh, keep you know, bringing the awesome videos and uh, keep dropping that needle, most importantly of all. Peace, guys. At Tunes from the Man Cave.